Hello, this is Michael Denon, and this is the Physics of X, where X is everything except politics. And we're talking about the Dresden series, um, where Harry Dresden is a wizard, he's practicing in modern day Chicago, lots of cool physics, but also raises a lot of interesting questions around faith, non-physical reality. And I'd like to talk today about a particularly challenging one. If you are going to take seriously the fact that world reality, fullness of reality, whatever that is, is fundamentally a physical part that we interact with through our senses and a non-physical part. Many physicists, many philosophers raise a very good question. How could the non-physical ever interact with the physical? One of the ways to think about this is we always tend to think about interactions through forces, one thing hitting another, one thing interacting with another. And that's usually the common Im image that comes up in this discussion. Now, in my actual physics career, one of the things I study are foams, which are collections of bubbles. And what we've learned over time with foams is actually what happens in the middle, kind of the causes and effects in the foam, can actually be due to changes at the boundary. So the outside of the foam has nothing to do with the foam, and it's not really a force in a traditional sense. It's what we call changing a boundary condition. This also happens in quantum mechanics. It happens with sound. When you are playing a flute, you're changing the notes by changing the boundary condition by covering up different holes and opening different holes. It's a different way of interacting. So you could imagine, this gives us a way to think about how the non-physical and the physical might interact because there's clearly gonna be a boundary between them and maybe you can make changes at the boundary that change the conditions inside the physical world that don't actually violate the laws of physics. They don't make things unphysical happen. They just change the physical state and where it's going. And this is what happens in a foam. When you change the boundary, you can change a foam from a liquid to a solid or back into um, a liquid. So if we think about this from the Harry Dresden files, there's a really cool interaction in ghost stories between Uriel the Archangel and Harry. Because what's happened is a fallen angel, by talking to Harry, has caused him to make certain decisions that violated his free will and led to bad things. Uriel, as another angel, is allowed to influence and interact with the physical world in this same way, basically through words and thoughts. Now, I get it, sound is a physical thing, it's the air vibrating, but words as a concept are non-physical. Thoughts as a concept are, contain a non-physical part. And so what we see is the non-physical interacts in the physical primarily through the interface that might exist, which is the human brain. I talked earlier, maybe we are a soul and the brain is an interface. So it all comes down to boundaries, interfaces, and what may or may not interact across from them. So I'm not saying this is definitely the way it works. It's not saying I even know how to test this idea from a traditional physics point of view. What's important is this is a good starting hypothesis. Like everything in these videos about the non-physical, they present a set of questions and a way of asking how would we make progress in understanding the non-physical? What are the right questions? And so I think to the question, can the non-physical and physical interact, Uriel in, in Ghost Story shows us one way, and that's through the interface of the human brain. So food for thought here at The Physics of X, and hope to see you next week. This has been The Physics of X, where X is everything but politics. Make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notifications of every episode coming weekly straight to you.